so much. I know I said it like a million and one times over the phone, but literally, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Like, thank you so much for letting me come over and like study and work here together. Like, my house has been a hot mess lately. Like, let me tell you. So, I just needed to get away from there and like all the drama and the screaming and the yelling. Like, literally, they've been arguing for like 40 straight. Like, I'm not even joking. Morning, tonight. <laughs> Cleared out. 
told the man took every penny took every penny okay on top of that and she really was mainly looking at like the, the savings and stuff to like see like his spending to see if he was like spending money like on dates or like whatever for like his you know little side piece because she she thinks he's cheating so she was like let me see if he's like spending money like to go on dates and stuff she found that there was actually no money to be found there was literally nothing the man took everything so she's like she confronted him about it and she's like where where's the money like where's the money also you said you've been working at the construction site i literally talked to you last night about working at the construction site turns out you haven't worked there for like a year and a half so what's going on when i tell you the answer that i got i thought like maybe he was trying to leave her or something and that's why he took all the money like i was thinking like something like a little bit tamed it's still crazy like still crazy but a little bit tamed this man told my mom he had to take all the money it was like fifty thousand dollars worth of like savings he told my mom that he had to take all of the money literally every single drop for loan sharks loan sharks and not even loan sharks after him loan sharks after my uncle literally loan sharks like in the movies i was like i didn't even think that, that was like a real thing i was like are you sure if he's not lying and she was like no they're actually real loan sharks like in the movies after my uncle and that's why you have to take out every drop every drop of the fifty thousand dollars out of the bank account and give it to my uncle for loan sharks and my mom was like okay well what like what what do you what is what 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 do you need loan sharks for like why why like gambling like what's the what is it what's the reason bitcoin bitcoin's the reason apparently he was involved in like some sort of bitcoin like some huge bitcoin scam scam or what you get for number three some like huge bitcoin scam where he like started this like investment company where you like invest the money in your bitcoin and then you like give it to him and he like i don't know something like puts it in the system or something i don't know it was something some fraudulent act that he my uncle literally was like in and out of jail for like four years because he tried to rob a bank and they thought that he was like a little bit like like incompetent or something and they like thought it was like on, honestly kind of laughable like imagine being so dumb that you're trying to rob a bank and they literally laugh in your face and are like yeah let this guy out because he's not a problem can you imagine so he was in out of jail for like so many years he's always like trying to do some like get rich quick scheme like he's just kind of honestly he's kind of shady he's sweet like don't get me wrong but you know he's kind of shady so you know he like started this company with these guys turns out the guys that he was like working with he met them like in prison took all of the money that like other people had invested into his bitcoin company and then like ran away with that and he was like owing these people like fifty thousand dollars like plus like more than fifty thousand dollars i think it was like a hundred thousand dollars but like they were like if you can give us half right now and then you can like pay off the rest in interest then we'll like let you live or whatever and so that's why my dad had to take our savings and my mom's savings my mom and his savings and give it to my uncle for the bitcoin scam this sounds made up doesn't it yeah that's what my mom thought so she looked, looked into it she like looked into it to see her skin. when did you even have time to do this but anyway yeah she like looked into it because she was like okay this is honestly giving like plot line of a book like this is still made up it gets worse it literally gets worse the girl that he was cheating with because turns out he was cheating but she was like it's really not like the i have bigger thing i have bigger fish to fry right now like at this point the girl that he was cheating with the girl that he was cheating with was actually someone sent by the loan sharks yeah she was like a spy or whatever for the loan sharks to like you know get like in him and like get him to like spend money on her and like give her money like sugar daddy vibes i'm like first of all ill like when did my dad become like hot enough oh. hot enough imagine saying that to your dad when did my dad become like sugar daddy status and like we're not even that 
rich so like i don't even know why they thought that, that would even like, work in the first place but like she was basically sent by the loan sharks to like basically suck and dry for money and then you know that they would like get the money back in a different way but again i don't know why they think that my dad's like rolling in it like yeah we do okay and like yeah they had a savings but like you know so my mom basically like she found out like yeah she was like went to him and she's like yeah you're dumb you're dumb because you're cheating and you're lying but you were getting played so like your little like mistress can i use this this is really cute your little like mistress that you like think is like in love with you and is like so happy to see you and like all oh, oh wait can i use the other one hold on your mistress that you think is like so in love with you and like so happy to see you is actually literally like using you sent by like the loan trucks i swear i cannot make this up it's like a freaking like novel at this point so my mom basically like originally she was gonna try and like say it was like fraud to the bank she was gonna try and say it was like fraud to the bank but my dad literally went down there in person and took out the money in cash I'm like, y'all couldn't, like, wire transfer or something. Like, y'all had to go in person and, like, do it in cash. So, like, she can't even say it's fraud because he literally went down there and took it out in cash. So now, she basically told him, like, like, my mom made, like, 50% of that money. So she was like, she basically told him, like, you need to get that money back or I'm leaving you and I'm actually going to call the police because this is really getting ridiculous. And I don't even think that loan sharks are even, like, illegal, to be honest. Like, is that even, like, a legal thing that you can, like, legally do? Because they're, like, threatening to do some, like, really crazy stuff to my dad. Can you even do that? So, basically, she's like, okay, you need to get my money back. You need to get my money back. Or I'm leaving you. Honestly, to be honest, between me and you, I think she's going to leave him anyway. And to be honest, she kind of should because my dad is, like, so shady right now. But she's like, either you get my money back or I'm leaving you. And I'm going to call the police and I'm going to, like, start an investigation on your brother or whatever. Because, like I said, her brother, his brother, my uncle, started, like, a Bitcoin, like, scam. It was like him and a bunch of other guys. But then, according to my uncle, those other guys like fled to like Dubai or something. Um, and they're like living it up, like real wealthy, like real wealthy vibes. And so, like she's saying, like, wrap it up, wrap it up, get the money back and wrap it up. Or I'm literally gonna call the FBI. Cause you know, the FBI, when it comes to like big money fraud schemes, like they love that channel. She's like, wrap it up, or I'm going to literally call the FBI and get your brother and you arrested because now you're an accessory. Accessory. When I tell you, I was literally like hanging off the edge of my seat when she was telling me this this morning. She literally told me all this before she took me to school this morning. And I was like, why would you tell me all this when I'm about to go to school? Because I literally can't think of anything with this. And I got home today and they were like arguing, like literally screaming. Yeah, like, like my mom was like, get my money back or i'm literally gonna call the fbi and i'm going to make you an accessory to this crime like she's not even joking like that was like retirement fun like honestly that's like really messed up but my dad like i'm not even gonna lie i'm not even gonna lie yeah so that's what i'm dealing with that's what i've been literally dealing with for like the past four days like it's literally been honestly it's been kind of entertaining i'm not gonna lie to you but also like not the best environment to like be doing you know all of this and i figured that if my dad doesn't find a way to get the money back then they're gonna have to end up using some of my like if not some if not all of my college fund which means that i'm gonna actually have to start doing good in class and getting a grades to get into college if I'm not gonna be able to pay for it. I'm gonna have to like get a scholarship, you know? Right? Like they're gonna they're gonna have to use it or we're gonna end up in like major, major debt. Like big debt. So I figured I need to like start taking this like this seriously. Or else I'm gonna end up like in jail or not in jail. What do I say? I'm thinking if that's my dad, my dad's gonna end up in jail. Or else I'm gonna end up not being able to go to college because we can't afford it. So like your girl needs to get a scholarship. So I was like sitting at home trying to like be like a scholar or whatever and like get good grades. But all they did is yell for like four days. So that's why I text you and I was like gonna come over and like study with you. And yeah, so I'm probably honestly gonna be spending a lot more time here 
I can like podcast to you about the drama. It could be like an exchange. 